For returning veterans back in the States, finding a way to services can be difficult. That's one reason for the many homeless veterans and others at risk for homelessness. As a way to bridge the gap and make it easier to find help, there is a two-day event starting tomorrow in Dorchester to tell us about this year's Massachusetts Stand Down is our guest from the lead agency for the event, Volunteers of America, Massachusetts. We'd like to welcome the CEO, Tom Beerbaum. Thank you very much for being with us, Tom. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks for having us. How many years has this event been going on now? Uh, this is the 21st year that this has been hosted uh, through the VA hospital here in, uh, Boston, in the Boston area. Now, this event is different from what usually happens if a veteran tries to get services on their own, because I guess that would involve going to some sort of a bureaucratic building, but this is more like going to a camp. Yeah, I mean, a stand down is a military term that was referred to as kind of a respite from the battleground, and uh, certainly a lot of the people that we see there are fighting a battle on a daily basis, and uh, it's something that's open to all of these individuals, regardless of what their circumstances are. Uh, and, and whatever condition they're in. Uh, it's really designed to meet the needs of, of uh, a multi-dimensional uh, uh, problem. I, explain how important that is, because I know if you call up for an appointment or you want to see somebody at some agency, you have to be really specific. You have to be really sure that you have the problem that they handle. And I guess this is very well, open-ended. Well, yeah, sometimes. And, and you know, I don't think you probably uh, wouldn't know exactly who you're speaking with. And these people are, are particularly uh, uh, familiar with veterans and veterans issues, how to engage these people and how to approach them. Uh, so it's a very uh, friendly, conducive atmosphere to people walking in and engaging. What do people do? They, they usually just come by for a short period and deal with one thing, or do they usually stay around for a while? Uh, you know, it really depends on, on what the circumstances are with each individual. The first thing they do when they get there is they register through an intake system, uh, and those uh, those clients are uh, then that put into the database for the VA hospital. Uh, it allows us to see what the demographics of that population are, their age, uh, presenting problems, and so forth. And then they're kind of guided to whatever part of the project that uh, uh, requires uh, uh, services. We understand this as an event about people who are either homeless or could be homeless pretty soon. I imagine you've got a lot of other problems in the mix. There could be a mental health issue, maybe substance abuse, or maybe just sometimes a, a helping hand a little bit to become self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's really a wide range of presenting problems. And this year, uh, I believe we have 70 nonprofit organizations participating in this. Uh, and you can imagine among 70 different agencies, there's, there's a real diversity of what we can provide. And it ranges from immediate health intervention <coughs> to housing. Uh, in, in some cases, people have no identification. They need to get an identification to get any services anywhere. So it's a beginning point for a lot of people. Uh, we can register them with the uh, uh, Department of Motor Vehicles. We can get their uh, teeth filled while they're there. I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, and we sometimes hear stories about veterans who know what service they need and, and where to find it, but there's a waiting period sometimes, or, or just it's hard to schedule. Can this help with that sort of thing? Yeah, I, th I think uh, a lot of times there are certain, uh, certain obligations to uh, produce uh, information that you might not have available to you. Uh, certainly, uh, conditions upon your release from the military have to be clarified, and uh, there there can be uh, uh, hurdles that that uh, people need to jump through. A lot of times, that's just uh, just enough uh, anxiety pr produced that people get discouraged and walk away from that. So there there are some enticements there. I mean, there there are three meals provided during the uh, uh, the continuation of this event. Uh, there's some free clothing that is provided through the through the military. Uh, and so it's, it's just enough to, uh, for a lot of people who are sort of uh, in the shadows to come out uh, into this uh, light and, and receive some services. And that's, that's really the hopefulness of the project is that people will actually uh, uh, follow through and not just have an initial engagement, but hopefully get some traction into some rehabilitative services. And I guess this is also a chance for some veterans to help by volunteering and, and maybe uh, networking a bit. Uh, you know, a lot of volunteers do uh, are veterans. A lot of a lot of the volunteers are are families of veterans, people who are concerned with veterans issues, and it's a great way to build networks and and to build community around this problem. 
We should make sure people know exactly when and where this is happening. Uh, well, it will begin tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock on Freeport Ave at the local 103. And we utilize the parking lot. Uh, the National Guard comes in and puts up tents. We use the building inside uh, so there, there are air-conditioned areas and uh, alternative settings in case the weather uh, proves to be inclement. Uh, but again, it's, it's, uh, it's a, a, a very uh, structured uh, uh, effort to engage people who have been difficult to engage. And this planning for this event goes on throughout the year. And uh, it's something that we, uh, we appreciate getting the support of uh, Local 103, certainly. The City of Boston is very supportive. We have a number of sponsors. Pine Street Inn is a sponsor of this event. And uh, it's a way to, uh, to hopefully uh, connect with a, with a variety of things. Thank you very much for being with us. Tom Bierbaum from Volunteers of America, Massachusetts.